Do you know the difference between these three methods of annotating types in TypeScript? Let's use this color type as an example, where color can be a string or an object with R, G, and B values. In its current state, there's one distinct difference between red, green, and blue. If I hover over red, TypeScript just knows that red is a color. The same goes with green, but in the case of blue, we actually know that blue is the string literal blue. So if down below, we try and do something like blue dot starts with, we can use normal string methods. But if you try green, for instance, we don't actually get the string methods. That's because when you override the type to color, now the type checker believes it can be a string or an object. So we're no longer inherently aware that green actually is a string. In TypeScript, the as keyword can be pretty dangerous as you're telling the compiler that you know better. For instance, if we made green an object, we could leave out required parameters and TypeScript will allow it. In this case, G and B are supposed to be defined, but we're not getting type errors. Compare that with this type annotation where our object needs to have all necessary keys or else we will get errors. Once we have all keys, we are safe. Satisfies also work similarly. If I copy this here, I still get my type checking and this is not satisfying the color type. But if I add the remaining keys, our type will be satisfied again. And in this case, it knows that blue is now the object and we can work with it accordingly. Going back to our original example, satisfies works really well for inferring types from literal values. It also plays really nicely with as const. So in this case, we know that blue.r is a number, but if we add as const satisfies color, we know that blue.r is the exact value zero. The satisfies keyword is new as of TypeScript 4.9, and you might find it handy.